what we have here is a 55 inch TCL TV. Uh, it's a 55H405. Okay, uh, so I did do a video on this television, uh, changing the LEDs um, some months ago, and right now it seems to be my most popular video. And unfortunately, people were having problems getting the screen out, uh, which has to come out so you can actually change the LEDs. Uh, so the main screen is sometimes glued to the brackets for the diffuser screens, uh, only at the top portion, okay, uh, once you flip it over and uh, pull the screen out. And uh, people were asking questions about that in my comments, and people were answering them. Um, other viewers were answering their people's questions saying, uh, use a hot air gun, uh, use um, something like this. Um, and, you know, you know, just pry it up. Uh, unfortunately, if you do that, uh, you are going to damage the screen. So, unfortunately, in the video that I did do, uh, the screen was not glued onto the bracket. Okay, and it came right out. Um, so it depends on which model, whether you have a 40, uh, I'm sorry, 55S, 401, 403, 405. I think they're pretty much all the same. They're all made the same way. It might just be a different main board. So I'm going to show you actually how to take the screen off, okay? As you can see, this TV is mostly disassembled. Okay, so if you want to watch the video on, you know, disassembling this, um, I'll put the link in the corner. Or just you know, just type it in this Google the YouTube search box, and it should come right up. Well, Big Dog eighty eighty eight eighty two video is about fifty minutes. Okay, so let's start. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, I've got all the screws out. Okay, we're gonna flip it over, and I'm going to pull the outer bezel up. Shy Town's finest. Okay, then I'm going to take my world famous prior tool. Okay, I just bent it at the top on an angle. Okay, and we're just going to stick it in between the seam, uh, between the outer bezel and the chassis. And we're just going to kind of like stick it in there and just cross it and pry it up like so. Just like I did in the other video. Okay. gets loose you can actually take your fingers and do the rest of one side You're probably not going to have to use this until you get to the corner and do not put too much pressure on this and bend it too far up because you're going to crack the screen do this very gently take your time okay make sure that all the screws are taken out of here from the back from the back cover um, you know so take all the screws out around here and there's no screws on the actual bezel part so it should just come right up around oh it's that one spot Watch the 
bottom part of the TV. Well, actually, this is the top of the television that's facing toward me. I'm gonna try to put the screen out, and it doesn't come up. As soon as you realize it doesn't come up, do not try to bring this up any further and bend it because you're gonna crack the screen. Do not stick anything like this up under here to try to pry it up. Try to pry the screen up, you're gonna crack the screen. Do not yet, do not use hot air <laughs> and try, otherwise you probably have the possibility that you could damage the screen or damage the pixels inside the screen. It may work, I'm not sure, I never did that, I'm scared to do it. This is what you have to do. Okay, so what you have to do, actually this is in three parts. There's a piece here which is connected to the screen, this long part right here. And once we take, we we'll take the screen and this up at the same time, just pry it loose. That's it. There's some little clips going down here. As you can see there's one there. There's one here, which I broke off, okay? And there's about one, two, three, four or five of them. Just pull them loose, like that, okay? And you can kind of unclip it from right here, okay, a little bit, and then stick your prior tool in between the bracket and the chassis, and just kind of pry it up. Now, just proceed to take this bracket off and the other bracket. And no, we'll take the bottom bracket off, okay? At the top here, okay? The top and the bottom brackets come off first, and then the sides. And then when you go back and install the screen, you actually put the two pieces on the side first the top one right here, or the bottom one uh, for the TV this long one and then we'll put it in our screen and we'll get it even which we'll is actually kind of like push it down and snap it okay I got my screen out of my diffuser screens I just want to mention one thing uh, usually on these TCLs it's only one LED that goes out and usually once you replace that one LED uh, it lasts for a, a long a long long time I just had one I had one problem with the TV that came back once um, some uh, probably like last year and I've changed the other LED that went out and if I had any problems with just keep the backlight down. But anyway, I had to buy all the strips for this TV. And why is because I used this new LED meter that they have out now, which has a separate control for the current and also the voltage, okay? And you might say, well, why would you need a control adjustment for the voltage? Uh, because you can also use this as a power supply okay and this also has a power supply tester uh, to make sure that your problem is you know either the power supply or the actual LEDs um, which is not lighting up but anyway I never use that I just use my meter to check the power supply board but anyway this meter one day was sparking and I went to check the lines on this TV the TV has two lines there are four strips on each line, obviously. But I went to check it and it blew up all the strips. 
if anybody has this meter right here and has had any problems with it doing that, um, let me know, okay? And if you fix it, I take the back cover off, I didn't see anything. But what happens is something is shorted or something is drawing too much current. So I'm, I'm actually gonna take this board out here, look up under here and see if there are any fets or anything. But yeah, the meter was actually sparking when you touch the leads. And uh, yeah, but it blew up on all my strips, so I had to replace them with brand new strips. I got off Shop Jimmy. But that's one, another thing I want to show you guys is any way changing these strips is pretty easy. Just There are actually three screws in each strip. Okay, so I can zoom in on one. Okay, all you do is take the one screw off the end and lift it up and the strip will slide right out. So I got to have all the screws out and just unplug it, unplug the strip and it slides right up, okay? It up, slides right up, okay, lift it up, okay, get my power cord plugged to the TV, I'm going to plug this into the AC, and it should come on automatically, just replace all the strips in it. Y'all nice and secure. Voila, that's it. So I got my diffuser screens in, right? And now we're gonna put on the brackets. And just remember that the cushiony, kind of sticky stuff always goes up. Because the screens, that's, that is what the screen is going to actually lay on, okay? So, so like I said before, we're gonna put on the side first. I do have this corner marked, okay? All right, so this corner, and we're gonna put the sides in first and then put in the bottom portion because it overlaps the sides okay and that should do it okay so I know this side goes over here because I have the chassis marked okay and same clips
Okay guys, looks like we are in good shape. As you can see, look ma, no cracks. Okay, screen's not cracked. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Uh, make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure that you do subscribe for more videos. I have plenty of TV repair videos on my channel, just about each and every popular model and popular problem, right? Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Big Dog, out.